Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Karin Avedisian. For more information about me and my services, you can visit my website at beekeepingservices.com. This website is mentioned in the description part as well. You can leave your questions in the comment section and I'll reply them in my future videos. You can also subscribe to my channel to have daily updated videos on beekeeping. Today I want to talk about Nosema and its subspecies. Their spread on beekeeping operations and their influence on bee health. Nosema apis is a long established pathogen of the western honeybee, Apis mellifera, and often causes dysentery, reducing the lifespan of bees. A new variant, Nosema sirene, discovered as a parasite of Apis sirena in 1990s was first identified on the western honeybee, Apis mellifera, in Spain in 2004 and has been associated with colony collapse disorder in the USA and bee death in Europe. Evidence in the United States of America suggests that Nosema Apis is not a primary cause of heavy colony losses. In Spain, the evidence is more complex than the research suggests that, in some cases, it may have been the primary cause of widespread colony death. Whatever the explanation is, it is clear that removing the stress of Nosema can help colonies survive. Nosema apis and Nosema serena are parasitic microsporin organisms that can cause Nosema disease and the dysentery in honeybees. The group of microspora is a unicellular and spore forming in nature. They are not visible with naked eye, microscopic examination is necessary. Nosema infected bees do not look much different from non-infected individuals, but certain traits are evident even before microscopic analysis and confirmation of disease. Lifespan of infected bees is often reduced, and infected colonies often dwindle in late winter or early spring. In case of Nosema serena, colony death can be even faster than with Nosema apis, and may take only a few days. Foraging is particularly affected, and bees are often too weak to return from foraging flights. Dysentery is a prime symptom of bees infected with Nosema apis, but it is not a symptom of Nosema serena infection. Nosema apis infection causes young adult bees to change their behavior. They stop brood rearing and attending to the queen earlier than normal and instead they start foraging and guarding the hive like older bees. This reduces the number of new foragers and honey yields are reduced. The lifespan and egg production of infected queens also reduces and this encourages queen supersedure. Nosema apis infection tends to cause adult bees to become bloated with water and this leads to dysentery. Digestion and production of royal jelly can be severely affected. If infected bees are confined to hive during cold weather, hive parts, combs and frames will become contaminated from fecal material. This is more obvious in spring when yellow-brown fecal spots can be seen on the outside of the hive after the first cleaning flights. So, how Nosema spreads? Nosema infection can be transferred to bees as they clean their hive and since cleaning behavior or polishing increases rapidly during spring, the level of Nosema apis infection rises sharply at this time. All adult bees can be infected by Nosema with serious consequences for the colony. Nosema apis spores are ingested and then germinate very quickly, invading the mid-gut and epithelial cells of the bee. 
Huge numbers of spores, often more than 30 million, can be found in mid-gut during a nosema infection. How you can treat nosema? Good beekeeping will help to prevent nosema. Stress factors such as damp apiary sites, lack of nutrition, infection with any other disease can contribute to nosema outbreaks. Fumagillin fed to colonies can suppress the effects of nosema apis and where permitted by local regulation can be administrated as a prophylactic or as a control treatment. If you are in the United States, you can apply Nozavit Plus. In case of candy, use one teaspoon or five milliliter medication for per finished weight of one pound or half kilo. If the weather is warm and you can make syrup, add one teaspoon or five milliliter to liter of one to one ratio sugar water. It is an all natural product helping to promote and maintain the intestinal integrity of the honeybee along with long term health and vitality for your bees. To avoid having problems with nosema, don't feed your bees with syrup in early spring and late autumn time, as the feed can't be fully processed by bees and will be fermented either in the feeder or in the combs, which contributes to nosema spore spread. That is all for today. I hope this information was interesting and useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to have daily videos on beekeeping. Thanks for watching.